section of the saga lock. Hopefully y'all are having a splendid day. Today we are taking on the second gym. Yeah! Gym time again. Okay, anyway. Two gym episodes in a row. Uh, 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 Although... So we're in Azatron today, and uh, yeah, we're taking on this gym, which I'm so nervous about. It's going to be so terrible. Our team's level 15 across the board, 17 across the board, <clears throat> except not 17 across the board. And like 17 for most of the way around the... Obviously, some Pokemon, of course, level up faster than others. So we have Gwen and Trudy both at 16, but the rest of the team is above the, the 17 level. So... Obviously, I am putting Whale about in the front of the party because she's goaded. Um, and probably the next one to die to chat, honestly. That's probably what's going to happen, as unfortunate as that is. That's the truth. Um, it only makes sense. Oh, hi. Voya, John. Wow, you actually made it to the second gym. It's so wild. We ended up randomly visiting at the same gym at the same time. What a weird coincidence. I'm your stalker girlfriend. It's fine. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, oh, wow, weird. Might as well battle now while you're here. No, seriously, look. To, pro look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to battle this time as much as I would really like to. But you and your Pokemon, they've definitely grown stronger since the last time I saw you. And to add to the mix... You'll be at 100% set to go. No problem. Here's more ethers. Actually, you know what? If you want to give me those, I'll be cheering. I'll go train maybe like 20 Pokemon while you tackle the gym. Miss Attendant Lady, can you please take your Oogle Blips off the stand? We don't need to see them right now. Joy would be triggered, so yeah, so I need them off the stand because Joy is lovely and we stand her and she's amazing and we cannot have Oogle Books on the stand. Welcome to the Azatron Gym. We'll register you as a challenger. Your name is John, okay? Yes, yes it is. Great, now in order to face gym leader, Brasias, you will need to pass the gym test. Here at Azutron Gym, that means completing Sunflora Hide and Seek. At least it's Sunflora. As you know, Azutron is a city of artists. Artwork made by people here are largely inspired by the nature and the sun and the nature that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embodies both of these concepts, we'll try and gather them and take good care of them. Your job is to find us the, the Sunflora located throughout. Azatron. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather ten of them up and bring them to the Sunflora Lawn, and then you'll pass your test. Register Sunflora's Lawn's location to your map to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right, and you'll get you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Uh, once you are at the lawn entrance, the staffer will then tell you more about the gym test. Now go on and have some fun. Great. Today's episode is focused on Oogle Blip. Joy's gonna love that! Yes, she is! Oogle Blip City! Yes! Oh my god, poor Joy. <laughs> I feel bad! Why is this episode literally focused on Joy's nemesis? Hi there, I look over the Acetron Gym Sunflora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time to go have a game of hide and seek. I'll go ahead and ask Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Flora! Sounds like Sunflora's ready for you. With that, the gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10 Sunflora, please bring them back to the lawn. It's all from me now. Good luck. So this is kind of like the test of uh the uh the 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 oh god oh hi hi buddy how are you uh no 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 I don't want to quit hide and seek get on my motorcycle am I really not allowed to get on my motorcycle in here that's great. There. Oh, there we go. You found a Sunflora.
We found four Oogle Blips. That's a statue. Oh, five Oogle Blips. The, the Oogle Blip episode, everybody. We have Oogle Blips following me everywhere. Woohoo! I'm freaking. I feel. Again, I feel so bad. This is literally like Joy's nightmare in action. Seven. Eight. Me having no idea where these things are. I feel like we already went this way. Oh, hi. That was a good hiding spot. Okay. I've got nine. Nine Ugo blips following me around. <laughs> Why do I have nine Oogle Blips following me around? It's not like, you know... Oh, hi. There's the tenth Oogle Blip. Hi. I don't know how I missed you. Bye, ten Oogle Blips. Have a wonderful day in your freaking garden. Why do we have ten Oogle Blips? Ah, uh, I have passed the gym tests. Bye, Oogle Blip. Can I keep one of you just for the lols? That would be funny. And Joy would definitely hate me for it. If only. Imagine. No, just straight up imagine. So, like, here, have an Oogle Blip. Charizard and Joy. I feel like y'all would have two completely different reactions to that. Literally, I think Charizard would be like, yes, he's back. And Joy would be like, gosh, dang it, he's back. <laughs> Which would be funny. Okay. Oh, the one scary thing about this, the gym tests, right, is that there is absolutely no, um, like, gym fights before the gym leader. So you have to make sure you are leveled up beforehand. Which is scary. Which, luckily, like I said, um, Charizard, I sent Charizard a DM with, like, all the levels and stuff that I need to get to. So I can just refer to that. But still, it's like, oh! Greetings, Challenger. <sighs> Let me just jump from the windmill like a freaking crazy person. With his whip. Can you whip me with that, please? I need that. You, you did come so far. I'm Brassy. It's an artist specializing in grass-eye Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at Azatron Gym. I was observing your gym test from the top of the windmill, you know. The perception displayed by finding Savora was... Sunflora was truly... Oh, how should I even describe it? Wonderful. Yes, it was truly Advantgarde. I only pray that you might demonstrate the eye of beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. Let's begin creating our co a collaborative art work of art. Ba 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 ba. I like the music for the gyms though. <laughs> Woo! Okay. You are challenged by Brasius, and he sent out a Metatite. Okay, that's a good start. Good start. We have Metatite versus Whale about. And our art is a creation and destruction struggle. Okay. Yes, it is. 
I'm going to start with liquidation. I think that's my play. It's a psychic and fighting type. I don't have any flying moves. I would if uh, you guys chose uh, JJ Watt. But, you know, okay, liquidation. Glaive Rush, 120 base power dragon move, but he takes double damage on this next hit. He lived with Sturdy, so that makes sense. Okay, any and that was a critical, so I should be safe. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate the, the fact that the game literally does, like, it's not, I'm not, I'm used to having two clicks, and so I'm clicking twice, but it's all in one sentence, so I keep getting screwed over by that. Um, think safest place to go into, um, Cricketoon here. Not a bad play. Not a bad choice. Well, it kind of is because I just thought about it and uh, we don't have any grass moves. We don't have any electric either. Our bug type doesn't have a bug move. Oh, we do. Trudy has an electric move, but I don't want to use Trudy right now. Ooh, Nolan with foul play could be... Nolan could be the move. Oh, we do have bug moves, but it's Gwen, so no. Let's just... I'm going to try and put it to sleep. It's a slow mon. We can put it to sleep. It'll be okay. Unless we miss. Okay. <clears throat> oh, he's going with the stockpile strategy. Gross! Gross! But it's a good strategy. <laughs> oh, no. Go to sleep, go to sleep, my little slow king. Um, yikes. Okay. Well, we're we're a plus one. How much does a plus one cross poison do? Not a lot at all. Great, good to know. But at least knowing that he's using a stockpile strategy, that I know that he's probably gonna stockpile again. And if we get one C word, then we're in good shape. Esper wing. What is that? It rose my speed. All right. It rose its speed. That looked like a psychic attack probably. Because of course it has stab. We None of our Pokemon do. Okay. I think that, that tells me I need to swap into Nolan. Because that wasn't super effective. Curse. Jeez! Uh, this man has Curse, Stockpile, and Esper Wing. Esper Wing probably guarantees a speed boost. I'm not sure, but it probably does. Okay, the ace Pokemon is a... Oh, Trudy wants to learn Scorching Sands. Yeah, bye, Sunny Day. I don't need Sunny Day on my team. I don't have any real fire attackers. I should, if I was around a preferred same type, Mr. Scorbunny would be. But, you know, or Raboot, I should say, would be. But, Brassius is sending out a Steenie. Would you like to switch? Okay, so it's gonna be Terra Grass. You know, I'd love Squidward to be healthy, but Squidward Squidward ain't healthy. Um Um Literally Squidward would have taken care of this easy. I 
I think I still gotta trust Squidward. Yeah, I'm still gonna trust Squidward. He's gonna Terra. I just hope that it's a Steeny and it doesn't have anything. It's gonna be level 17. Squidward's above level. He actually is Terra Grass, which is funny because he's the Grass type gym leader with a Terra Grass mod. So that's that's just ironic there. Um, but yeah, let's heal up. I think. I think the play is to make sure that we're fully heal healed, healthy, good to go. Allow me to touch up this work. I will call it tr truly wordle, truly wudo. An actually Terra Grass Grass Gym. What? That was just super lucky. Yes! He just murdered himself! <laughs> Thank you for murdering yourself. I really appreciate you. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna use that opportunity to uh well first I should just cross poison. I you play it safe, John. Just play it safe. I was going to use that opportunity to level up Trudy a little bit more, but no, I'm playing it safe. Parish, I'm just going to negate the Parish thing. Not going to worry about it, but he did murder himself regardless. Um, Hyper Beam missed. It wouldn't have done much anyway. Oh, it might have with the Aftermath ability, actually. That might have killed... Post aftermath, that there's a potential that that killed, but it didn't, so we're good. <laughs> Squidward level up to 19. Avancarte. I don't even know what that means in Spanish, but I, I can look it up, I guess. Oh, what artistic talents or tactics you employ, the patterns of your moves, and the minute of the details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was honed to perfection our battle was a word in one word art indeed if we could not call the, that a work of artistry then nothing else in the world would be labeled as such if i were to judge your work i would say it passes from my inspection yes a pass without exception as proof of your artistic prowess you have my gym badges shall we take a photo as well victory that was a lot louder than I expected, but you know what? It's fine. If you possess two gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 30, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would l also like to offer a f this a favorite of mine, Trailblaze, which is actually a good grass-type move that allows me to gain speed. So, yes, thank you. Maybe Mr. Uh... <coughs> Mr. Uh, Squidward can learn that because it's a physical attack. Pardon me. Would you be the John I've been hearing so much about? Nimona has mentioned that there was a promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I don't, didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I am one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the Academy. So do tell me, young John, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be the champion? Because this is my last generation of Sonalok, and like, oh my god, guys! This is crazy! But no, in all honesty... It, this is, I, I have so much fun doing this project, so for the fun of it. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there's no single correct answer. All the paths lead to a great crea crater of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nomora, M Nimona is the youngest to achieve the champion rank in the Paul of Paldea in history. It's entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Thank you, Mr. Hassel. Should you continue striving to reach the champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It'll save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. 
The ogre blips in the background definitely make this so much better. <laughs> We're just, literally, I'm just making fun of this. I'm making fun of ogre blip. Ogre blip does not deserve to be made fun of, but also he does deserve to be made fun of because he's ogre blip. Let's check the map. What do we got to go to now? So, the next item on the list is technically this. So it goes, the list goes this thing here. Oh, cool. That actually is nice. Okay. It's this. Oh, it even tells me how, like, how good I'm doing. But also, it's like, dude, you have not done anything else but gym badges. I understand this game. One, two. Oh, okay. So now we're kind of circling around the map, which is cool. A lot of our objectives are starting to, like, be close to each other, which I, I personally am glad about. I mean, obviously, we're going to deviate from the path here a little bit. Because <clears throat> what they said, or what I was looking at, is they were trying to get me to do the, not they, but they were like, you should do this level 20 person before the level 17 person. I was like, no, 17 before 20. Numbers, math, easy. Um... But, I don't know. I feel like I should just do a shorter episode for the day. Um, because I think that just makes every, everybody's life easier. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I have to train. or Well, do I really have to train? What is my levels at? Yeah, I should. Good train probably be a good idea because level 20 is the titan and i don't know how titans work so i want to play that a little bit more cautiously um like i know it's a rock type and whale about should be fine against it but you never know it is my luck and my luck could lead me astray so because of that i will just end up ending the episode a little bit early have you guys a little bit more of a chill type funny jokey episode I think that will work just fine. And then the episode after, we'll take on Titan and Star 1. So we'll have two big things to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed today's episode. I had a laugh. It was it was bright, fun, and, and enjoyable. Love you all. Bye!